Uh, hello class, my name is Javier Navarro. I'm currently a sophomore and am a criminology and criminal justice major. Uh, my goal with this degree is to work for an agency such as the Drug Enforcement Administration or the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigations. Um, I also have a backup plan in case those two fail because they are very competitive jobs. I would like to be a police officer or work for the Department of Justice as a corrections officer. Um, so for my interview, I interviewed a corrections officer. His name is William Mong. Um, he's a federal. He's a corrections officer at the Federal Correctional Institute of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, he was um, in the Army for four years, then became a Border Patrol agent, and for the last six, he's worked at FCI Phoenix. Um, the reason I elected to um, interview this individual is because he's in my class, and he's actually been speaking to me about different jobs um, in different agencies, and he recommended. Um, being a correctional officer or a border patrol agent. Um, he's actually he's de um, pursuing his degree at ASU right now so that he can get promoted amongst the um, amongst the correctional officers. Um, my initial assumption was that corrections officers just oversaw and monitored prisons throughout the whole prison, but I was informed that they are um, in charge of certain housing units and they are in those units from a day-to-day -day basis unless they are working overtime or covering someone's shift. Um, the daily task of a corrections officer is to enforce rules and regulations. So obviously they're in a prison, there are lots of rules for the inmates. Um, they can't have like cigarettes or um, they gotta make sure they're not digging holes in their room, just anything crazy like that. Um, they perform daily inspections, that also goes along with the rules and regulations. Um, every morning they line them up and get a head count, make sure everyone's there. Um, this goes along with the other two. They conduct patrols of the housing unit daily. Um, every few hours or every hour, they'll walk around, check cells, check inmates, make sure they're all okay and not doing anything crazy. For the most part, the daily tasks never change, but he was saying that you must always be prepared for, for anything to happen, a fight, um, a t an inmate could attack a guard, um, and then everyone needs to respond. Um, he told me there are many challenges of working at a prison, such as dealing with the inmates. Uh, they're always trying to challenge authority by having contraband or attempting to compromise the staff. I asked what the most difficult part of the job was for himself, and he stated it was giving compassion to child predators um, whose crimes were disturbing to a father such as himself. He has a daughter, so he said those individuals got to him more. Um, the difficulty of the job varies from person to person. Uh, not all correctional officers will deal with the daily struggle that he does. Um, I asked who depends on him as a correctional officer inside the prison. He stated that both inmates and staff alike depend on him to maintain order, um, to maintain the safety, and to be vigilant at all times. Um, one important part of a career to me is being able to move up in the chain. So I asked him how the future looks like and what typical career path there is for correctional officers. Um, he claimed the sky's the limit in this field of work. There are many options. If he wanted to become an educator or a nurse inside of the prison, he could do so as long as he got the um, right credentials. Sometimes these moves would be a promotion. Sometimes it would be equal. Um, along with most um, the correctional officers who get promoted, they'll stay in the prison. They'll get promoted in the prison system or they will elect to uh, move to a different federal agency. As for William, he stated that he wanted to go to law school and become a federal prosecutor. So being a correctional officer was a stepping stone forward for him. Um, I would say the interview went very well. He was very professional and answered every question exceptionally. Uh, I had no more questions or concerns about the field after interviewing him and um, he said if I ever had any questions, concerns, um, not to hesitate to ask. Uh, overall, I was pleased with the way the interview went, and now I'm and more interested in the career as a correctional officer. Or, yeah, um, my view of the career field is still the same. I knew it was a job that required a daily routine, and that routine could possibly be broken up by um, serious scenarios, such as I mentioned earlier, where an inmate would attack a guard or a fight. Um, I knew there would be individuals who would question authority and um, would uh, 
attempt to make life difficult. Again, the inmates do things that they shouldn't, and sometimes it complicates things. Um, I also knew it would be a good stepping stone into any further, um, into developing a further career in the criminal justice world. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please ask in the comment section. Um, if anything, I'll ask William if I'm unsure.